GMGM GM Hotel Fam, welcome back to another episode of the story behind the project. Today we're going to talk about the DGEN's Access Pass. Button, why didn't you get started and tell us a bit more about the people behind the project? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do this one. There's a few Access Passes out there that are providing utility, and this is definitely one that I think is worthy of keeping your eye on and seeing where it goes. It's created by two uh, very successful financial investors that have gone full on DJ mode and now are into NFTs. Their names are Mando and OSF. Uh, both of them have an interesting perspective on what's going on in the market. As soon as uh, NFTs started to become a thing, they got involved in it. And one of their most successful uh, purchases and investments was getting into the Board Ape Yacht Club, which many of you know is one of the most valuable NFTs that you can get currently today i believe they have together approximately 70 of them that's a lot of money in nfts they've done really well and they do a discussion on rug radio every morning at 11 a.m eastern and they always provide great insight as to what's going on with them furthermore my man over there who's speaking the tan man himself osf he is also an incredible uh talented artist that has a very unique uh style that's that's become quite uh, known in the space. He started out doing more uh, limited edition uh, art pieces, ones of ones and, and you know very few available. But then he also created his own PFP project called Direct Guy. But while doing that, him and Mando were able to build upon the Degen Pass, which starts with the project called Degen. Kucho, why don't you explain to them what is the Degen? <laughs> yeah, sounds great. So the DGENs, that is a PFP collection and it got minted actually in the middle of the PFP gray. So summer of last year, you can see July last year, it got created. And uh, Mendo and OSF, yeah, they were just experimenting. Uh, like Button said, they started as investors, but then, you know, wanted to build their own projects. So the DGENs was an experiment. And then since they've minted that, they you know tried in different ways to really add value to the holders of these nfts one of the first things they did is they created a burn so what collectors were able to do is they were able to burn two of the degens nfts to then get a regens nft um, but after that still the uh, collection didn't perform that well and um, yeah and so it was going down in price so um, OSF and Mendo they were thinking about hey what are different ways in which we can add value to our holders like Button said by background they are investors and they've done really successful as investors also in the NFT space so they felt like oh that might be you know, the angle that we should be taking, and this is how we can drive a lot of value to these NFTs. So what they did is they did some rebranding and they rebranded DGENs as a project that's focused on NFT resources. And uh, also, I mean, looking, looking at these NFTs, right, it's, it looks like a very traditional PFP collection. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to create a separate collection where it's more obvious that it has this focus on NFT resources. What I ended up doing is they airdropped an NFT, which is called the DGENS Access Pass, to each holder of either the DGENS or Regents NFT. And now this is the NFT that gives you a lot of access to different NFT resources uh, that they came up with. Button, tell us a little bit more about, you know, some of the utility that you get by holding this NFT. Right. So the primary one that I view as being very, very valuable is access to their research. I mean, as we've mentioned multiple times, these guys are investors. How do really good investors make that money? They do their damn homework. And if they do their homework and they're right about something, then it provides the opportunity for them to actually make significant profit. So 
they are enabling you to get access to those research reports, which are quite incredible and very substantial. So in order for you to get access to these various reports, you have to have the DGN Access Pass in your wallet and then you sign it with your wallet to prove that you have ownership of that wallet with that NFT. And in doing so, you get to see various different uh, projects that have been broken down in great detail by a team of researchers to provide as much insight as to what they've already done and direction as to where they're going next. And um, this is, I mean, these are really great opportunity for people to learn a bit more about either what's trending or what's been going up in price or perhaps something that's been going on in the market for a significant amount of time that's been holding a solid floor price. Uh, they do multiple per week. And um, for one example, they did one on the uh, CryptoPunk collaboration with Tiffany's Tiffany & Co. when they provided an opportunity for those who have a CryptoPunk to be able to buy an NFT that's exchangeable for an actual piece of jewelry. So as you can see on the report itself, you can it goes starting on the on the side. You got all the little details about it, and then furthermore, they break down everything about it that you need to know if you're interested in buying it or if you're interested in purchasing it on the secondary market. Um, it's very very insightful. It does require you to, to do the homework of reading it. But at least the primary research is already provided there for you. And um, I have to say, one thing I sincerely appreciate about it is they provide the information in a non-biased format. It's not provided to you as if they're trying to shill or as if they're trying to make some money off of it. They're trying to provide it to you just as unbiased as possible for you to make the best decision for you. So whether you want to buy, whether you want to sell, whether you want to hold or just do nothing with it. This is what they're providing that information so that you can make the best decision for you. And I sincerely appreciate that they do that. I believe they also have a Discord, Kucho, that they're able to give insight uh, and, and build a community with online. Uh, do you want to explain that a little bit more? Yes. So, I mean, aside from the re these research reports, so that's really at the core, but they also have token gated areas of the Discord that you only access if you have a DGENS access pass. And they are, they are sharing, for example, every day, they are sharing some commentary on what they see in the market, what they see with crypto, what they see with NFTs. So I found this like super helpful to just get a better sense of what's going on in the, in the market. And especially again, going back to their background as investment traders, I think it's really helpful also to hear their perspective, like more broadly, on financial markets uh, and macro, what's been going on. Also, uh, what's to come up is they have some partnerships with curated artists. Um, one of them, for example, is Alien Queen. And what they have planned is that there are going to be some uh, drops with these artists that they partner with, where you only be able to access them by owning a DGENS access pass. So nothing has happened in that regard yet but there are some of these partnerships that are definitely in the pipeline. Yeah. They, they are they sometimes, building for sure. Yeah. They sometimes call themselves the poor man's proof pass. So it is kind of similar. I think it's really cool. Um, on one hand, like the value you're getting through the research reports, but then also uh, what's to come. Right. And I mean, button, I talk about that a lot is that in these times, like in a bear market, you really can find the people that are sticking around and that keep building and keep grinding. And I would say uh, OSF and Mendo are both definitely like a great example of that. So I'm really excited about what's to come with the DJ's Access Pass and what they're building more broadly. Absolutely. I think that they're fully dedicated to providing a lot of utility to holders of the pass. Uh, obviously, a lot of people believe that as well, considering it's holding a pretty solid floor. Uh, furthermore, I think that their team that's doing the research and the team that they're building around this DGEN uh, access pass has really come through on providing research to relevant projects that we want to learn more information about, but sometimes it's hard for us to gather it, whether it's through joining their Discord or joining or following them on Twitter and looking at all their tweets. This is a nice condensed way of getting it 
summarized, but still providing enough detail that it's helpful enough to make the right decision on what's best for you in your situation. So I sincerely appreciate what they're doing. I'm a big fan of both of them and I can't wait to see what they're going to build next. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Cheers everyone.